what's going on everybody mike here with i smell hope this video is finding everybody well to say that i'm excited about today's collaboration would be an understatement as you can tell by the thumbnail we are indeed collaborating with the big homie sam broom fragrances himself so for those of y'all that are new here this is how it's going to work here in a second, I'm going to kick it on over to Sam. He's going to run you through some of his favorite blue fragrances. He'll hand it off back to me, and then I'm going to be doing the same. In totality, this is going to be a top 10 list of blue fragrances, which should 100% be on your radar. I really do hope you appreciate today's video. In the spirit of not rambling, though, I will go ahead and kick it on over to Sam now. I really do hope to see y'all back over here in a few. Thank you, Mikey, for allowing me to be part of this collaboration. It's an honor, my brother. So listen... My five blue fragrance. We're gonna start off with the number five spot from the house of Prada. This is Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. In this fragrance here, your major notes in this, you get some lavender, you get bergamot, iris, musk, and you also get some sage. So picture this, a clean, fresh fragrance with a little bit of aquatic notes and a sweet vibe. So dope, so dope. Fresh and clean is what I think about when I smell this fragrance. The lavender is really, really, the lavender and sage is really nice in this. It's like a little floral, it's got a floral tense to it. The bergamot pops at the beginning. The iris is nice and smooth. It's an evenly balanced fragrance. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. My next one, which I would say number four, from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, Blue Noir EDP. Great office fragrance right here. It's fresh. It's got a nice, clean, slightly powdery vibe. Yes, this is just so dope too. You get musk, vetiver, cedar, some ebony wood, and, all, and, and amber with this. And that amber gives that sweetness, but again, it has a nice powdery vibe to this as well. Sort of the same DNA, well, it has the same DNA as the EDT. A little bit more richer, a little darker, but still fresh still clean got this nice sweet vibe to it as well and again powdery great for office that's the number four number five from the house of Ralph Lauren gotta say it, it's in the name polo blue but this one is gold blend DNA is in this from the original blue the only difference you get a little bit of some smoke to this and some spices oh yeah some spices major notes in this thing here you get melon ginger incense sage and lavender citrusy very aromatic spicy and a little smoky to me the best in the line from the blue, the polo blue. To me, the best in the line. I know I have polo blue parfum, but I, I love this one better, man. It's just that smoky vibe, just give it a little difference to it. It's almost like Blue Nation, um, Dylan Blue with some smoke. Damn, that's good. Ralph Lauren, polo blue, gold blend. Again, to me, best in the line. Okay, I gotta move on because I don't want to hold Mikey video up too long. Next one from the house of Carolina Herrera. This is Bad Boy Cobart. All right, Parfum Electric. I know it's a, it's a mouthful. All right, it's a mouthful. You get that blast of the plum and that pink pepper at the top. The lavender comes in with that truffles and the vetiver to make it a little a dry, earthy vibe to it. Man, this is fresh, uplifting. Also clean. 
it has probably one of the greatest openings. This thing here. Damn. This one gets similarities to Invictus Platinum. Yes, sort of that same vibe. But the plum is so nice, man. And the spices, oh God. Openers to die for. Bad boy, Cobalt. And lastly, Mikey, I'm gonna hit you with this one right here, okay? Gotta hit you with this one because this one surprised me when it came out last year. From Amasi, into me for him. Into me for him. Such a versatile, wearable, and mass appealing fragrance right here. Some say the woman's version is better, but this is a nice blue fragrance right here. Again, super versatile. You get that nice, sweet watermelon vibe, and it actually makes your mouth water. The pink pepper, patchouli, and sandalwood are the major players in this fragrance. But it's the star of the show is that watermelon, that sweet, fruity vibe that you get at the top. So damn good. So damn good. Mamasi, and to me, for him. Those are my five blue fragrances, man. Mikey, I don't know if you're going to be able to top that, my brother. But it's your show. Bring it. It's your boy, Sam Broom. Thanks again, Mike. Peace. Thank you, Sam, for providing some of your favorite blue fragrances with us. Coming into this, I knew you would nail it, and you absolutely did. In all honesty, you guys, this has been one of the more seamless collaborations that I have done on my channel thus far far and in regards to Maasai and to him for men I need to stop procrastinate and pull the trigger and get a full-size bottle I got a decant last summer I ran through the whole thing I don't have anything left so yeah that's on my short list of fragrances to get this summer but I'm not here to ramble I'm here to talk about some fragrances we have quite a bit to get through so let's go ahead and get into it the first fragrance that I'm going to be showcasing today is and just so happens to be one of my more recent acquisitions. If you're looking for a fresh and unique take on the blue genre, this one right here is 100% at the very least worth a sniff. Fragrance number one comes from the skincare company of Blue Atlas. The name of this fragrance is Atlantis EDP. All right, so despite the dark and heavy bottle, this is not a dark and heavy fragrance. I was surprised to learn that. The notable notes in Atlantis EDP is going to include bergamot, blackcurrant, apricot, peach, violet, as well as ambrette musk. Now, I'll give you a couple sprays and let you know what I smell in this fragrance. Yeah, in terms of the scent profile itself, it's gonna open up extremely fresh and aldehydic, and it's gonna be accompanied with bitter sweetness coming in the form of those fruits, primarily apricot as well as peach. There's also going to be just a tinge of black currant, similar to what you might smell in Aventus or Club Day Wit, for example, but again, it's just a tinge. Unless you're looking for it, you might not even notice it, and it kind of recedes as it moves in through the mid. In the mid, you're gonna get herbs as well as watery violet and that's where the atlantis demeanor in this fragrance is coming from i believe that's what you get throughout the mid and then in the dry down you get a very pleasant naturally smelling clean musk all in all it's an excellent fragrance in my opinion a bottle of atlantis edp is going to run you right around a hundred dollars in all honesty, you guys, I did not pay $100 for this fragrance. They sent it to me for free, but that's just because I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm never going to shill for a fragrance company, and this one here is a great fragrance. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive. The reason why I'm featuring it is because it is a unique take on the blue genre. If you're looking for something that doesn't smell like every other modern blue released today, this is definitely one worth checking out. I do plan on doing a full review of this fragrance soon. Definitely a fragrance that you should at least get your nose on. It's an excellent blue fragrance. At the number one spot from Blue Atlas, we have Atlantis EDP. All right, so the second fragrance on my portion of the list today just so happens to be, in my honest opinion, it ranks as one of the more iconic blue scent profiles to have ever been created in the designer 
Realm. It's a fragrance that I enjoy so much personally that I opted for the hefty 6.7 ounce bottle. Fragrance number two comes from Dolce & Gabbana. The name of this fragrance is Light Blue O Intense. All right, so if you live in a temperate climate as I do, this one here is gonna be perfect for you because it literally smells like it was designed to be worn outdoors and during the warm weather. There isn't gonna be a ton of notes in this fragrance. The main notes that I pick up on is going to be seawater, grapefruit, orange, juniper, musk, as well as amberwoods. Now, in terms of how this one smells, it's going to be a contrast of salty aquatic notes being blended with super acidic citrus that's what you're going to get for the majority of the fragrance and you are going to have a warm musk attributed at the base this isn't an overly complex scent profile but in the dead heat of summer you almost don't want it to be a bottle of dolce gabbana light blue o intense is going to rank somewhere in the ballpark of around 65 dollars to 120 depending upon your size and vendor if you're looking for a light blue aquatic fragrance that you can wear during the hottest months of the year and isn't going to be cloying like a lot of the modern blue releases are today this is definitely one worth checking out one of my favorite blue fragrances in general at the number two spot from dolce and cabana we have light blue o intense all right so we are going to be piggybacking off of the big homie sam with this next one whereas he showcased the edp I'm gonna be showcasing the Parfum. Fragrance number three comes from Narciso Rodriguez. The name of this fragrance is Blue Noir Parfum. Okay, so I will not be doing a deep dive into this fragrance as it's one that I literally just featured on my channel. If anybody is interested in checking that out, I will leave a marker up there. What I will say about this fragrance though is that it is going to appeal to the type of person that enjoys blue fragrances and wants to see how far the scent profile can be taken in terms of the scent profile and composition itself. The notable notes in Blue Noir Parfum is going to include orange, iris, suede, cardamom, tonka, as well as musk. In terms of how this one smells, it retains most of what people enjoy from the EDP, and by that I mean the muskiness and the sweetness, Smells amazing, you guys. But what they did with this one is they added iris up top, which gives this one a whole new layer of dimension. Thankfully, the iris does recede over time and it gives way to some of the more quote unquote blue facets. And by that, I mean, I mean, it's sweet, dark, kind of woody. And it also retains some of the orange that is up top. The orange never fully goes away, at least to my nose in general. A full size bottle is going to run you around $100 to $120, but it's an excellent fragrance and it's an excellent work fragrance. You're going to have a high likability factor as well. If you enjoy blue fragrances and you want one that doesn't follow the trend of every modern blue release today, this is definitely one worth checking out. At the number three spot from Narciso Rodriguez, we have Blue Noir Parfum. All right, so for all of y'all that have been subscribed to my channel for any decent amount of time, you're already aware that I am not above showcasing clones on my channel. That's exactly the direction we're gonna be going with this next one. Fragrance number four comes from the extremely popular clone house of Alexandria Fragrances. The name of this one is ETE Sauvage Elixir. All right. So it doesn't exactly take a rocket scientist to figure out what they were trying to do with this one. This one here is a direct reinterpretation, AKA clone of the extremely popular fragrance from Dior called Sauvage Elixir. Mind you, at a fraction of the cost, a 100 milliliter bottle of Alexandria's version is gonna run you right around $100, whereas Dior's version of Sauvage Elixir is gonna cost you right around 150 to 160 for the 60 milliliter. In terms of the notes listed on Alexandria's version, it is going to pretty much mirror Dior's, and by that I mean you get cinnamon, nutmeg, lavender, licorice, sandalwood, as well as amber. In terms of what this one smells like, it's a balance of everything fresh, spicy, sweet, aromatic, and woody. It retains everything we love with the modern blue trendy vibe, but what, blue, what glues this fragrance together at its core is something old school and musky. That's what I appreciate about this fragrance. It smells essentially like 
Sauvage Elixir. Mind you, a slightly fresher version, which personally for my taste, I certainly do appreciate. As a fragrance itself, it checks all the boxes. It smells great. It's priced appropriately, it lasts a very long time, and has a high likability factor. If you're looking for a signature scent for cold weather and you love blue fragrances, this one right here is the ultimate dumb reach. I've already featured it a few times on my channel and I've only had it a couple months, so that speaks for itself. At the number four spot from Alexandria Fragrances, we have ETE Sauvage Elixir. All right, so last but not least, and if you are still watching, big salute. I really do appreciate it. What we're gonna do with this next one is come full circle. It only feels appropriate. This one right here is basically a staple in every enthusiast fragrance collection and is going to be the fragrance that launched the entire blue fragrance genre. I think y'all already know where I'm going with this one. Fragrance number five, last but not least, comes from Chanel. The name of this fragrance is Blue to Chanel. Okay, so as you can tell, I did just feature the Eau de Parfum. I'm not gonna get into a whole debate as to which composition and which concentration is the best. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. But personally, I do think the EDP, based on my taste and preferences, is going to be the most well-rounded. The notable notes in Blue de Chanel EDP is going to include grapefruit, ginger, incense, mint, sandalwood, as well as amber woods now in terms of how this one smells most of y'all already know but for those of y'all that don't it basically smells like a modern men's body wash and by that i mean it has that aqua velva uh, vibe from back in the day this one is going to open up with aldehydic citruses with some zesty ginger it's going to move into some smoky incense and then the base it's going to be warm woods with a bit of creaminess coming from the sandalwood i will admit that in 2023 it is a little played out blue de chanel is a little played out it's either a love or hate fragrance it's also going to be a fragrance that comes across as a bit dated at this point i think i speak for everybody when i say we could all appreciate a elixir version of blue de chanel but nonetheless this remains to be one of my favorite blue fragrances of all time, just because it's the first blue fragrance that I ever purchased. A bottle is gonna run you right around $120 more or less, and they don't come to the discounters very often, so just pop up at Macy's or go to one of their flag spot or flagship spots. That's gonna be your best bet for this fragrance. Nonetheless, it's an excellent blue fragrance, one that should be in everybody's collection, assuming, of course, you love blue fragrances. Last but not least, at the number five spot from Chanel, we have Blue de Chanel EDP. All right, you guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me. Those are 10 blue fragrances that should undoubtedly be on your radar. They all smell amazing. I want to thank the homie Sam Broom Fragrances for teaming up with me to do this collaboration from the bottom of my heart, man. I genuinely do appreciate it. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I was subscribed to you and was watching your fragrance content before I even created the I Smell channel. So for me personally, this is monumental. Again, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy fragrance related content, if you found value in this video specifically, I am going to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Listen, it's like a gentlemanly exchange and here's the deal. I provide you free content. If you've watched more than one or two of my videos, you subscribe. Seems like an even exchange. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. So for those of y'all that did watch until the full video, this is what I want to do. I want to send a decant of any one of the five fragrances that I talked about to you free of charge. Just two things. Make sure you're subscribed. I will be checking that. And then leave a comment below. Let me know which fragrance you would like to check out. I will send that to you free of charge. Just my way of saying thank you for checking out the full video. I really do love and appreciate you all. Until next time, you guys. Y'all take care. Stay safe. I'll see y'all around. Good luck on the giveaway, by the way. All right.